well, do you want to be a writer? Well, I always did, but I flunked English in college, so I never thought I'd have any chance of being a writer. But then I wound up writing a hundred books, you know, sold millions and millions of copies, two New York Times bestseller lists, I did a column for Good Housekeeping and the New York Times Syndicate and, and most of the major newspapers and everything. But it's funny, now, I mean, this was years back, and, and now it's all different. And I wish I knew about these kinds of things that are available to help writers today yeah. <laughs> because it would have been a lot easier than the way I did it years ago. I mean, I used to go you know, to a place called Literary Marketplace and that book is still around. It's online, literarymarketplace.com and they tell you who buys writing and stuff like that. But in, to find a literary agent and all that. But that's a shrinking business and it's you know it doesn't really have much of a future and you have to learn the new sources out there you know if you want to become a writer or live as a writer or whatever and what money programs and help that's available now as a writer I mean you're really like a small business person so what you really have to know first is all the free help you could get to solve any kind of business problems you have maybe you have a problem with your taxes or should you incorporate you got to sign contracts with some somebody like that you know how do you write off your home or something as a writer any of those kind of issues how do you do a press release how do you do marketing you can get all that help for free and, and that's available in something called the small business development centers there's thousands of them all around the country and if you go to this website asbdc-us.org that's a s bdc-us.org and you just put in your zip code there and you'll find you know you know a half a dozen in your area probably and these are people that get grants to help you with any kind of those uh, logistical problems you don't have to be a business you're a freelance writer or something like that trying to make money as a, a writer that they're available to you see I didn't know that when I was starting this kind of stuff and you're guessing you you hire experts you hire lawyers accountants and all that you don't have to do that and I also have some videos uh, free videos of uh, um interviews of these people who give this kind of help for free and that's available on my YouTube channel which is Matthew Lesko 70 because I'm 70 years old now <laughs> it's YouTube slash Matthew Lesko 70 you know if you're watching this on YouTube we have links right here that you could watch watch those videos now the best thing I think for writers that want to publish a book is that instead of hiring a literary agent or knocking on publishers doors there's websites that help you with all this for free they don't take any money they know the publishing industry and what it's like now they know all the things you have to do they help evaluate everything for free and they won't be snobby publishers these are people you know that help you raise money for your book or whatever kind of thing you're you're trying to write and they're just wonderful things to know and one is called incubate i n k u b a t e dot com that's i n k u b a t e dot com and the other one is pub slush p u b s l u s h P U B S L U S H. Now, there's other crowdfunding sites that you could use to raise money, but these two are the ones that really specialize for writers. The others are filmmakers and all, all kinds of things, you know, small business and everything. And you could use them. So, if you look for crowdfunding sites, you may want to shop around. But they're the main two just for writers because you have a lot to learn just by using them. It, and we have two interviews from them uh, on our YouTube channel channel that's uh, YouTube slash Matthew Lesko 70 and if you're watching this now on YouTube there's links you know I provide to to go right to them in YouTube and watch the interviews of the people who run these sites so you get a better idea of what's available to you and to learn the industry that's what I'm about and another thing as a writer remember you know, apps man there are like a million apps in the app store you know in, in iTunes a million I mean we only publish like 300,000 books a year. So if you're a writer, you know, you should think about how you can <laughs> use your uh, information you want to write about and turn it into an app. And there's easy ways to do it. Everything I'm telling you about is free, doesn't cost any money, 
and it's a source to get money. These websites know how to get money to you and get money for your idea and they help you for free so you could start learning them. That's why the snobism has gone out of all this stuff and it's really democratized for the average person like you and a schmuck like me who flunked English. <laughs> I got lucky and, and did a lot of books. But here we also have a video on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you know, Don't write a book at $20,000 to write an app. Yeah, and you can do that. There's a lot of free help. You watch that video there and, and that will uh, tell you a lot about how to use app as an alternative you know, to getting information out there. Now another thing we have is a lot of videos of people who got free money for their writing projects. You know, and we have a dozen or so videos of people who use the internet, didn't use traditional sources, didn't go to publishers, you know, the Bay of New York City and get turned down by these snobs or whatever. You know, no, they just went on the internet and figured it out how to get it. Now, if uh, they're on the YouTube channel and here, there's one here, this, this woman who wrote a kid's robot book and got $13,000 you know, from the internet to write the kids robot book. She did a little outline, did a little video, put it on the web, and she raised money on it. So you can do that. This is how to be a writer nowadays. Well, here's another one. Uh, this writer got $2,800 of free money on the internet to go to a conference because she's a writer and want to talk about her book. So this is another way to get money for free to get somewhere where you could promote your books. Or how about starting a blog? You know, I like this woman who started a cooking blog and got $13,000. Now we have a video on that. You know, how she started this little blog for free and then uh, parlayed that into raising money on the internet to get $13,000 to do a cookbook. $11,000, I'm sorry. Or, or how about this guy in his basement? He got $2,200 to make fun of his wife. He was writing jokes about his wife. He wrote a little cartoon <laughs> about his wife. And, and so he was dying to be a war writer and always wanted to do this. See, this is what's available to you now. As a writer, I mean, to use these tools, these are new things. When I was coming up writing, no one could go to the internet and get... 20 grand or something like that to be a writer. No, but that's possible nowadays. You know? Or how about this guy in San Francisco who wanted to do a photo book on San Francisco? Francisco got $7,000 or about 6000 something. You know? uh, or a guy in uh, Rhode Island who got almost $6,000 to do what he calls an urban fairy tale. See, this is all free money from the internet, not from traditional publishers. It's using the crowds on the internet you know, uh, to get this kind of money to do these kind of projects. You know? And that's why the world is changing. I mean, the, the traditional you know, writing business, I mean, that's over. It's going to be a shrinking business. It's all these new things. Or here's a guy in New York City who got, was turned down by all the big publishers. So he went on the internet and he got $32,000 to do a book about comics, you know, stand-up comedians, you know, those kind of people, <laughs> kind of thing. And then a whole bunch of interviews we have really with people who did photograph books. I mean, these are nice coffee table books, and, and this one guy did one on the environment. He got $16,000 for his photograph book. Uh, another uh, fellow who was doing, uh, you know, photographs of people very poor. And he was trying, he was giving part of the money to the poor people and everything. And he got ten thousand dollars on the internet to complete that project. Or, or a guy did a like a travelogue of England, it looked like he got seventeen thousand dollars on the internet. So he's publishing it himself, he gets all the rights, all the money, all everything. This is what all this stuff is about. You don't have to share with a publisher. You go to a publisher, they give you five percent, seven percent if you're lucky or whatever. No, here you're getting a hundred percent. Or there's a photographer who went to China. To, to document the workers who actually make all our stuff that we use here. <laughs> and it's a, a delightful uh, book of the real people who, who make these things in the factory. So he wanted to honor these factory workers. And that's cool. Or this woman who took her passion, you know, for uh, reindeer, actually, uh, 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 in uh, near the North Pole and spent some time up there and then got $17,000 to do a beautiful work of art. 
on that. See, I mean, this is what's available out there. Now, also put together is some items that you may not know about to help you. See, if you're a writer, you know, you're trying to make ends meet, you know, deliver pizza or whatever, <laughs> just to keep food on the table. Well, there's other ways of doing that nowadays. And I put together eight websites that you could learn in about 60 seconds how to get a couple thousand dollars, you know, a month of extra money, just part-time at, at home. Uh, they're not scams you know they're 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 you know they cost no money they're not going to charge you any money because they take a small percentage of the money you're getting so they they go out and get you this work or opportunities or whatever and then they take a small percentage so if you go to again uh, my youtube channel youtube matthewlesko.com uh, matthewlesko70 i'm sorry youtube slash matthewlesko70 and and you'll see it, it's eight websites in 60 seconds you know, uh, to learn about these free money sources. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a, a click here to watch all those. Now there's another thing too that you should, if you're struggling you know, writer, to know about all the other programs that are available in the government to help you pay your bills and expenses while you're learning how to you know, make a living, a full-time living as a writer. And, and if you go to lesko.com, L-E-S-K-O.com, you know, and you go up to the, if you're a member, it's the member section. If you're not a member, it's a non-member section. And, and members could really get like 25 programs just in their state, just in your state, that will help you pay your phone bill, pay your electricity bill, pay your heating bill, you know, uh, pay your car bill, pay your credit card uh, debt off, all, all these kinds of things that are available that people don't know because nobody advertises. And, but so we have the exact you know person to contact in your state and, and so look for that it's the top 25 now one more thing don't forget health care I mean so many people determine their career by just a health care plan you know I can't do something I really want to do in life and contribute more to society because I need to stay this lousy job I hate because I need the health care plan for me and my family well Obamacare solves a lot of that problem now because it's a place that no matter if you have pre-existing a condition or not you have a lot of money you got little money you're gonna get health care you know and, and it's gonna be available and it is now now through the uh, program and there's a lot of subsidies you could be making up to ninety thousand dollars a year and get subsidized health care they give you cash help you pay for health care so make sure you look at that because if that's at all stopping you and it does to a lot of people they, they get tied down to something they hate doing for the rest of their life because it's just a health care plan and and that seems a ridiculous way to live I mean we need the best you have you know America needs the best you have inside of you and you only know what that is you know and, and so you have to bring that out and you have to bring that out to the rest of us and contribute as much as you possibly can in life that's what life is about you giving the rest of us the best you have and as much as you can